Yes, the topic is construction of parabola. Draw a parabola, distance of focus from the direct is given as 52 mm. Also draw tangent and normal at any point on the curve. So usually for par parabola, the eccentricity value is 1. So 1 if it is given, the eccentricity is equal to 1 part by 1 part. Is equal to the ratio. Ratio given is V f by v o so v f will be one part and v o will be another part so adding the numerator and denominator one plus one is equal to two parts and the total number of parts will be two parts so take your draft scale try a fixed straight line called as directrix take your edge pencil and draw a fixed straight line called as directrix A, B. And using the horizontal scale of your drafter, draw an horizontal line. This will be the axis for the parabola. And it is given that the distance of focus from the direct place is given as 52 mm. So rotate a point. At a distance of 52 mm, mark this F. F stands for focus. And this point of intersection between the directrix and the horizontal line will be marked as say O. Now I go to divide this O, 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 F, O, F into two parts. So whatever the distance given, that we divide by 2. So therefore, 52 divided by 2 will be 26, 26 mm. So put a point at a distance of 26 mm. Now we are going to locate the point called vertex V. Let this point be vertex V. So that Vf will be one part and Vo will be one part. Total number of parts is two parts. And further, take your draft scale, draw a vertical line passing through point V. Using the vertical scale of your drafter, draw a vertical line passing through point V. And take your compass, take VF as radius in your compass. Vf as radius in your compass and keeping V as center, draw a arc, draw an arc. The arc where it intersects with the vertical line passing through point V, that point is marked as say Z. Any letter can be provided. Take your free hand scale, join O, Z. Or by using draft scale, this can be done. Join O, Z and extend that line further. This is what we followed up to this is step 1. So before entering the step 2, let me erase the calculation part. Due to insufficient space for completing the parabola, and the students are asked not to erase the calculations, simple calculations made for parabola. That shall be written on the right side of your drawing sheet. Now, for carrying out a step two, step two in step two, I'm going to draw several vertical lines. Several vertical lines passing through point between VF, some two, three lines may be drawn. And you can repeat the procedure. Take a draft scale, draw a vertical line in between VF, some one or two lines may be drawn. This is the first vertical line I have drawn. The vertical line where it intersects with the axis, that is horizontal line, that point is marked as say one. And where the line intersects with the inclined line, that is O, Z line, that point is marked as say 
1 dash. Now take your compass. Take one 1 dash distance in your compass. And keeping FS center, if it's called focus, draw an arc on that first vertical line 1 1 dash. It cuts at here. Above and below the axis, the point is, uh, the arc is drawn. So where it intersects with the vertical line 1 1 dash, that those points are marked as say P1 and P2, like that. That this point of intersection, the mark is P1 and here also P1 or P1 dash. I did again give points to those uh, intersecting points. Similarly, draw several vertical lines with a regular gap or an equal gap between the vertical lines. Let me take the second vertical line at here. Let me draw it at here. So mark this 2, 2 dash. Similarly, I can draw n number of vertical lines. With the equal gap between the vertical lines or unequal gap between the vertical lines. Usually the gap between the vertical lines are taken at the equal interval. Say 10 mm gap between the vertical lines. Like that I can draw some 5 to 6 vertical lines. And further, the line, inclined line may also be extended. So those points are, that is, those vertical lines are marked as C third vertical line, 3, 3 dash, 4, 4 dash, 5, 5 dash, 6, 6 dash. Right, now you take the distance, that is 2, 2 dash distance in your compass. That is second vertical line distance, vertical distance, 2, 2 dash. Keeping FS center, cutting arc on the second vertical line, which I have taken. Above and below the axis, that is below the horizontal line. Similarly, 3 3 dash distance is taken in the compass. Keeping F as center, always focus will be the center for cutting the arcs. Next, 4 4 dash. Keeping F as center, cutting arc on the fourth vertical line above and below. Next 5 5 dash distance is taken using compass. Cut a arc on the fifth vertical line. I'll repeat for 6 6 dash vertical line. So always focus will be the center for drawing the cutting the arcs or for drawing the arcs. So those points are marked as P2, P suffix 2, P suffix 3, P suffix 4, P suffix 5, P suffix 6. So that these lines, vertical lines are intersected by the arc. Just an extent in the line due to insufficient length or height. 
and now draw a smooth curve passing through these points starting from point V using HP pencil because this is the answer has to be highlighted in dark. So the profile obtained is called as parabolic curve or simply parabola. Next, the further in the question it is asked that it draw a tangular normal at any point on the curve. Let me choose uh, below the axis. Let this point be marked with point CP. For this particular point, I am going to draw tangent and a normal. So take a draft scale or by freehand scale, join the point located point with the focus F. So just say reset your draft scale and for that release the nut of your drafter. So that the scale is released. Join P and F. Where F is called focus, then type the draft scale. Use H pencil for this. And with the same setting, and, uh, and by using the another scale of your drafter, which I say uh, repeat, uh, repeat with the F, join PF with the drafter scale and type the drafter scale. Using the another scale of your drafter, draw a line passing through point F, where F is called focus, and extend that line so that it intersects with the Directrix. So that point is marked as a say T. That is, this is a point of intersection marked as T. Now join TP using your freehand scale or by draft scale. As the draft scale is not having sufficient length, I may use freehand scale for this. Join TP. That will be the required tangent. and extend it mark it as, mark it as uh, t dash now t t dash is a tangent now take a draft scale for drawing normal keep your edge of a draft scale in coincidence with the t t dash the edge of the scale must be coincided what do you in, in coincidence with the t t dash line drawn so try to draft scale for the rotate the screw or the nut that is not in clockwise now the scale edge has been coincided with the T D dash line. Now using another scale of your drafter with the same setting, draw a line perpendicular to T D dash passing through point P. Now so this will be called as normal minus n n dash. Uh, this completes the parabolic curve and uh, yet tangent and normal is also drawn. And finally all dimensions are in mm is written at the bottom. And uh, one more thing, the dimension has to be done. Dimension carries marks. This is a focus from the directrix is given as 52 mm. So draw the dimension line, reset your draft scale to 0 degree. So just you adjust the scale like this. Keep the edge of the vertical scale, the edge of the vertical scale in coincidence with uh, Directrix, the first drawn line. So that our scale lies like this. That is the zero degree angle. This horizontal will be zero degree. Now we we'll extend the line from point F. And F is called focus. So this distance is taken as 52 mm. It can be shown above or below the axis. Here also we can extend and show since due to present due to point of location that is tangent and normal I have drawn earlier. 
that may be congested. So I have drawn uh, above the axis, this dimension line, put arrows on both ends of the dimension line and mark it as 52. It is written as 52. So that means 52 is, is in terms of millimeter. That is, whatever dimensions is given, that can be indicated in the drawing just by number and below you can write it as all dimensions are in M. This completes the parabolic curve. Thank you for listening.